So as earnings season for some of these big, massive behemoths of companies wrap up, we're starting to learn more and more about supply constraints and chip shortages. So we're going to talk about three stocks profiled by one of the top analysts on Wall Street. In fact, he's number three overall here on Tip Ranks. We're going to talk about three stocks in the semiconductor industry that he has reviews on. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to Tip Ranks. I'm Richard Allen. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. If you learn something new in this video or find any value in this video at all, let me know by hitting that like button and that subscribe button down below. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. We've talked about Quinn Bolton on this channel before because he's an absolutely fantastic analyst. If you take a peek at his page here, you can see that he has a 76% success rate with an average return of almost double what the S&P did on an absolutely crazy year last year, 50% average return for his recommendations. He is ranked number three overall. He's an analyst at Needham & Co. So I'm really excited to talk about these three stocks today because they're all in an industry that is struggling right now for uh, for many, many, many reasons. These three stocks are down with the rest of the market year to date. So you've got to keep that in mind. But there are some big price targets here for all three of these stocks. The first company that we're going to talk about on the list is a $65 billion behemoth of a company, Marvell Technology Group. Ticker symbol MRVL. Marvell produces a range of chip products with a focus on data infrastructure solutions for computing, networking, security, and storage. In addition to data centers, Marvell's chips have found use in the automotive and wireless industries. And the company saw $3 billion in annual revenue for fiscal year 2021. For fiscal 2022, the company has already beaten that revenue total. In the fiscal third quarter 2022 report released this past December, Marvell reported $1.21 billion at the top line, up 61% year over year. So this company is really taking advantage of the chip shortage, absolutely ramping up production, selling more and more and more, growing over 60% year over year. That's fantastic for this company but what does Quinn Bolton see in Marvell overall he is saying that this has a 65 percent upside he's giving this a 115 dollar price target and this was reiterated last month overall analyst consensus is strong giving Marvell stock ticker symbol MRVL a strong buy based on 24 overall ratings with an average upside of 47.39% over the next 12 months. Do you agree with Quinn Bolton on Marvell? Do you think Marvell is a good investment over the next 12 months? Please let me know down in the comments. Personally, I don't think this chip shortage thing is uh, is panning out anytime soon. Uh, so I think a company like Marvell can certainly take advantage of that and continue to grow massively. So the second company we're going to be talking about is a behemoth in the space of radio and communications systems. This is a company that works with the government, massive federal contractor. This company is Maycom Technology Solutions. MTSI is the ticker symbol. In its recent first quarter report for fiscal year 2022, Maycom showed a record year for revenue. Top line grew 7.4% year over year to reach 159.6 million. This was also the eighth quarter in a row to show a sequential revenue gain. Adjusted net income grew from 46 cents per share in the year ago quarter to 64 cents per share. That's a whopping 39% growth for their EPS. Quinn Bolton is giving this a $90 price target. This company, MTSI, is trading under $60 right now, down a little bit today as of recording this video, but that represents an almost 60% upside. This was a reiteration from Quinn Bolton, targeted nine days ago. Overall, this is a strong buy stock as well. Nine analyst ratings with an average upside, general consensus of 44.41% over the next 12 months. 
What do you guys think about this space of more, you know, a federal contractor, $160 million worth of revenue, big difference from Marvell. Do you guys like this sort of investment as well? Let me know how you feel about MTSI down in the comments. All right, third company on the list is on to innovation. This company is a little different from the other two as they provide process and process control equipment for the semiconductor industry. Simply put, Onto makes the text devices that chip makers require for product optimization and quality control. At the top line, Onto reported just over $200 million in total revenue for the third quarter 2021. This was a company record and the fourth consecutive quarter of sequential growth. Year over year, revenues grew 58%. And EPS more than doubled year over year from 40 cents to 98 cents. So 18 days ago, Quinn Bolton gave onto innovation, ticker symbol ONTO, a 28.75% upside or $115 price target. Onto innovation is trading just under $90 right now, up slightly 1.5% today as of recording this video. General consensus from other analysts there's four ratings this is a strong buy with 30.35 percent upside as of recording this video what do you guys think about onto innovation do you think it's a good idea to invest in some of the other companies that work with the semiconductor industry providing the crucial things that these companies need do you think onto is going to continue to grow through this semiconductor shortage or do you like the other two companies better please let me know how you feel down in the comments. We will continue to profile the best analysts here on this channel. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video. I appreciate each and every single one of you. If you learned something new or found any value in this video at all, let me know by hitting that like button and that subscribe button down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.